everybody. Welcome to the Stock Car Spectacle. I'm Ian Jortson. I'm Mike Gamble. And we still got our good buddy Patrick Cotto from the Cotto's Mojo joining us. Yeah, you do. How, how you doing, buddy? Doing good, Ian and Mike. Thank you guys so much for having me back on. I mean, it's been a um, been a crazy time with work and stuff going around. I've been trying to get on some shows, and here we are. And we yep. picked a good week too. It's been a yeah. long it's been a long time coming for trying to get you on this show, man. <laughs> exactly, but we're here. We are here. Oh yeah. And we are going to the paperclip this weekend, Martinsville Speedway, boys. Uh, we got no truck series this weekend, but we got Xfinity and the Cup Series. So we'll start off with the Xfinity Series. It will be the Cookout 250. It is a 131-mile race. Stages 1 and 2 are 60 laps each. And the final stage is 130 for a total of 250 laps. Last year's winner was Harrison Burton in the fall. And that was the only Xfinity race that we have seen at Martinsville Speedway in probably, I think, over 15 years or something like that. So we don't have a whole lot of stats to go with these Xfinity drivers besides maybe some truck series stats when they ran there yeah. at the paperclip. But yeah, that's about it. Harrison Burton, he's your only winner in this field right now at Martinsville Speedway. So guys, who is your pick to win? Mike, let's start off with you. Guys, I'm going to go with the guy that won here last year. I think he's kind of got to get going a little bit here. Been a little bit of a rougher start for him to the season so far. I'm going to pick Harrison Burton to get to victory lane at the paperclip this weekend. Not a bad pick at all. All right, Mr. Cotto, who you got on Friday night to win the Xfinity race? We're going to go with uh, Mr. A.J. Allmendinger, Ian. We were just talking about that he is usually a hot and cold driver. Well, this Friday, he'll be hot. Nice. Uh, uh, Friday, right. Friday night, baby. Friday Friday night on the track. Why not get hot that perfect time? I like it, man. Not a bad pick at all. And, guys, come on. You know how this goes every week. You know who I'm picking for the Xfinity race. I'm picking my boy Noah Gregson. Come on. He needs a win. Oh, my God. He's had the worst 2021 that I have seen. Just horrible <laughs> ass luck. He has the fastest car every week and then just somehow just gets <laughs> duped out of it. I don't know. The guy's got uh, one top five, one top ten here so far, and he's got a win at Martinsville in the Truck Series in 2017. So I'm looking for my boy NG to get the win on Friday yeah. night and party and down some claws. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he also snap. has one of the fame. He also has one of the famous quotes in the world so far. After his wreck in uh, Homestead, his famous quote: "You got dipshits in the way." Because that's basically the theme of everything around us right now. <laughs> uh, I will get that tattooed on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That might be a little extreme, but hey, I like it. I'm yeah. here for it. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> All right. So now let's get into the Cup Series race. We got the Blue Emu Maximum Pain Relief 500. It's a 263-mile race. Stages 1 and 2 are, are 130 laps each. And the final stage is 240 for a total of 500 laps. Last year's winners, we had Shurex in the spring and we had Mr. Chase Elliott in the fall. Most active driver wins is Mr. Denny Hamlin. He's got five wins here at the paperclip. Most active team wins is Hendrick Motorsports. They got 25 wins here at this track. And then most active manufacturer wins, that is Chevrolet with 57 wins at Martinsville. Yeah. Jesus. That is unbelievable. Good God. But 57. With, you just think of all the years that Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson have dominated at this track. No, you, you just got it. You just got to think like, wow, 57. Yeah, that's a huge number. Yeah. That is a huge number. No kidding. All right, Patrick. So after hearing all that, who is your pick to win on Saturday night at the paperclip? Who's your pick to win and why is it Chase Elliott? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, Ian, you just mentioned Chevrolet's 57. It's going to be 58. And plus, Chase Elliott won there last year to get his mojo line to win the title. Well, Chase Elliott's off to a slow start. So a win at Martinsville for Mr. Elliott. He could probably get it on for 2021. 
There you go. Not bad. I mean, yeah, won there last year, clinched himself into the championship four. I'm sure he'll keep that momentum up for sure. I just yes, like Patrick Cotto worked a mojo in there. That was pretty creative. Well done, sir. <laughs> I see what you did there. there you go. <laughs> but Pat, right, people, like, love, people love to use it on a lot of things. <laughs> there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> but All right, guys. Now that we're into the springtime, the Team Penske organization is heating up as the weather heats up out there. Ryan Blaney and Joey Logano both found victory lane, but there's one member of Team Penske missing so far. And that's the two of Brad Kozlowski, the multi-time winner here in Martinsville. I think he's going to get it done this, uh, this Saturday evening. Brad Kozlowski puts the two in victory lane. Not bad at all. I'd love all. to see it. Ian, uh, I know your dad would love it. Yes, he would. All right, guys. So for my pick on Saturday night, this guy's got five wins, 15 top fives, and 21 top tens. I got to go with the 11 car of Denny Hamlin to get his first win of the season. <laughs> Guys, it's been weird not seeing Denny or Kevin Harvick get a win at all so far this year. But like we've been saying, this is the weirdest season ever that we have seen. So I think Denny's going to get it done at the paperclip where he is the most comfortable at and lock himself into the NASCAR playoffs. Hey. I'll be happy with the Denny win as long as he does not take out Chase Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, after you rattled off that stat line, is Denny good here? I can't tell. Yeah, I don't maybe, know. Maybe just man. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lord almighty. Yeah, no, video game stats. No kidding, man. <laughs> but yeah, I am excited for the paper clip. It is definitely one of my favorite races of the year, especially when they started doing the night race with it. Um, and we're going there this fall. You, me, and Nick, we still got tickets for that race. So oh, you I'm guys going to you guys going to Martinsville? So originally we planned on taking Jim for his birthday last year, but right. COVID happened. Yes. So tickets got moved around and they have been pushed to this fall. So hoping and praying everything works out and we are good to go. Denny, you guys were talking to Mike, you were talking about Denny Hamlin uh, succeeding at Martinsville. His last Martinsville win was in 2015. That's all right. Look at them stats though, buddy. He's, he's pretty damn good here. Yeah. He knows his way around here. Well, don't count Denny out at all, but I never count out Denny Hamlin. <laughs> Damn straight. All right, guys. Well, you got anything else to add before we head to Martinsville and eat some hot dogs this weekend? Oh, boy. First Saturday night race of the year, boys. Can't wait. Boy, what the chef's going to be cooking in Martinsville this weekend. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, Hot dogs sound good. Oh, yeah. But I'm always excited for night racing. I think it's always some of the best races of the season. So let's go. Let's go short track racing, guys. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. All right, everybody. Well, I'd like to thank our special guest, Patrick Cotto, for joining us this week. Uh, Always a pleasure having you on, buddy. And, of course, we'll have you on more. Guys, make sure to follow Patrick on Twitter, Instagram. Make sure to check out the Kodos Mojo podcast with me, Adam Cornwell, and, of course, Mr. Patrick Cotto <laughs> with weekly sports updates. You can find that on all podcast platforms. Make sure to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications whenever we upload new content. Make sure to check out our merchandise on Spreadshirt.com this week. Starting on April 6th, all of our merchandise will be 15% off. So make sure you guys go in there, get some stock car spectacle swag. We'll have the link below. Uh, Make sure to follow me, Nick, and Mike on Twitter, along with the stock car spectacle account for weekly updates on the show. And so, guys, that will be it for us. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ian Jortson. I'm Mike Gamble. And I'm Patrick Cotto from the Cotto's Mojo. Have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy the paperclip. Let's go racing.